Over 40 journalists drawn from local media organs from the six divisions of the southwest region of Cameroon recently received attestations for the completion of a two-day training workshop on peace journalism and elections reporting. At the close of the working session that was facilitated by Professor Stephen Youngblood, Director of the Center for Global Peace Journalism, journalists through the voice of the President of the Cameroon Community Media Network expressed deep satisfaction for the opportunity to gain skills and knowledge on this relatively new concept in the media landscape of Cameroon, especially at a time when the sociopolitical climate in the northwest and southwest regions is not the best. As the country looks forward to possible multiple elections in 2018, the training workshop was just timely and very essential for journalists. The role of the media, especially peace journalists, is to be able to report making choices of using words and videos that give an enabling environment for peace to reign. The media is supposed to craft programs that gear towards peace and reconciliation, programs that gear towards the unitary states of Cameroon, programs that, gear, that give voices to the voiceless. We want to attest that um, after uh, two days of uh, intense schooling, uh, I'll be heading home quite happy, quite rich, with knowledge on the peace journalism and how to uh, handle uh, unrest crisis in the country, especially now uh, that our country is going through some turbulent moment, the Anglophone crisis, we are on the eve of, of an election year. Uh, we've got a lot of tips here on how we'll be able to report, uh, give report to our listeners out there that will be able to guard them and to avoid violence uh, in the country. Uh. Presiding over the closing ceremony, Alongside the cultural affairs assistant at the U.S. Embassy who co-sponsored the project, the moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, the Right Reverend Samuel Funky Forba, called on journalists to remain professional and very responsible in the manner of report delivery and promised to always provide similar fora if result on wrong turn out positive. Well, uh, we depend very much on the results in the field. If the journalists who have been trained are not apt and can deliver the goods, then we will not be encouraged to continue and sustain this project. But if